So approve, approval seeking. Um, well, there's two ways of doing that. You can you can clear approval seeking um, by uh, practicing the observer in situations where other people are at. So let's say um, uh, there's a person that I want validation from, and they come they walk into the room. Then um, what you do is you have the, you set your intention every time that person is around to practice the observer. So you have to set it like an intention. The next time I see them, I'm going to practice the observer. So you go, you realize that you're you're probably in your head and making up a story about them, like they don't like me, or maybe they do like me, whatever it is. So you go, well, can I can I go to the observer of my inner dialogue? Can I go to the observer of seeing them, seeing them and seeing their face or whatever? So as you do that, and you and you and you see, does the observer of my inner dialogue or that person when they're about? Or you can just do it in your room and just imagine them being there. It's the same thing. That is the observer interested in getting validation from them. As you go into the witnesser, is the witnesser interested in validation? And as you're in this, and if you if it seems like the witnesser wants valued validation from them, is there a witnesser of the witnesser that's not interested in their value in their validation or in what you or your head wanting validation from them? And as you keep going deeper within, you realize that uh, that that the, the witnesser or the infinite silence is not interested in the evaluation. So you, you keep washing that out. And then eventually what will happen is that uh, there won't be a need to get validation from them because it's like, oh, that which is recognized that that what, which wanted validation from them was the ego. And you're not the ego. And uh, the infinite or the observer doesn't want validation from them. It's kind of irrelevant. So uh, that's one way to unhook it. But you've got to have the intention to practice the observer, especially in the situation. So let's say they're walking about in the room, just practice the observer and just check in and see if the observer wants valid. And as you do that, you'll, re you'll be in the truth that the observer doesn't need the validation. You start to break, uh, break that. Otherwise, you can, um, I cancel my belief I need validation from blah, blah. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Or God did not create the need for validation from blah, blah. And so that is not real. So you keep doing that. And uh, basically, when you seek validation from someone, you cut your, yourself off from the infinite the infinite being. Uh, because um, you've just made an object your, uh, your, your God, basically. So you're in a, in a very limited, uh, disempowered state. Because instead of resting in that which is infinite and beyond all limits, you're now sort of zooming in and trying to make a limited object to your, the source of your power, which is very limiting, really. So you're just working on breaking that. Like this limited object that I'm trying to get validation from is not true. It's an illusion, you know. Uh, so you just uh, you just um, go to the observer or keep cancelling. So in that way, you'll just uh, start to delete it. Now, depression... This is a separate question, but I can't be bothered to shoot a different video. Um, depression is it's the, um, I mean, de usually depression is is arising because um, the ego now believes it can't get the thing that it thought it needed to be happy. So let's say um, um, uh, you, you have to find out what you're depressed about, like it's depressed. Like, uh, I, I wanted this person's validation. I don't think I'm ever going to get it. So I feel depressed. You know, so the illusion is that you needed the validation from that person to be happy. And now you feel depressed because you now feel it's not possible to control the person to get the validation. So the, the ego, really, the ego is depressed because it can't get its illusion. It can't get its toy met. You know, like people will get depressed when they get old or people will get depressed if they lose a leg or people will get depressed if um, a, a, a sexual uh, or a romantic partner. Uh, goes away oh they without them i can't be happy i'm depressed so those are all illusions <clears throat> because the truth doesn't ever abandon you even though these uh, illusory these very strongly held beliefs that these external things uh when you when you when you suddenly aware you can't get the external thing to to fix you then you get depressed so it's based on a, an, an illusion so that's the depression um but anyway even if it was like, oh, my goodness, my partner's left me, I feel depressed. Well, you can go to the witness, sir, 
is the witnesser of the depression depressed? Well, it's not, you see. Go to the observer. Depression is like a cloud. So if you go to the witnesser of it, you realize that the witnesser is not depressed. Uh, all right, so my boyfriend's left me, for example. Well, that's, a, that's some thoughts and feelings in the body. If you go to the observer of it, is the observer, uh, you know, sad or, uh, or, or uh, having obsessive thoughts about, the person no so you can clear it that way or just count your belief um in that so um you can ca you can you can i can ca cancel i cancel my belief i'm depressed uh, i'm an infinite being so the, the in, your, your observer or the infinite being can never be depressed depression is a cloud the infinite being is not a cloud is not a cloud of depression you're not that so just because a cloud of depression has wafted in, wafted in, or a black cloud, it is still not what you are. So, if you, it's a statement of truth. Yeah, I mean, it, it, let's say you're a child of God. You're not. A, you're not a feeling of depress, depression. That's not what you are. So you can cancel it. You see, it's it's observed. It's a cloud. So you just break, you start breaking it down in that way, and you're not subject to that. Um, you know, that is not what you are. That's just uh, an illusion that's passing by. Okay. So um, let's stop there.